In this video, we're going to explore the templates in FigJam. Okay, so back into our file and let's go to the menu and click on the widget stickers and templates. And here we are already at the templates. So at the top, I've got some templates that I've used recently and scrolling down, let's see how they're grouped. So we got grouped by brainstorms. So we've got a brainstorming template, crazy eights, empathy map, pros and cons. We've got some quarterly planning templates here. Got some diagramming templates. And we've got some meeting templates here, which is great. Keep going down, we've got planning templates, workshops, personas. Got some research and design templates here. Engineering ones. We've got some fun templates. Connect four. And yeah, I guess we can browse the community and download more. So if I go back up to the top, let's just click on. So if you hover over with the mouse, click on add template. So I've added the crazy eight template. And what it does is it just pushes all the details straight into your document, nice and easy. So this is the Crazy Eights one. It's given us instructions here. And we've got some additional things like what are we trying to solve, the context. And we've got some areas here for post-its, for ideas, um, for sketches. And we've got some spaces here for, in this case, the Crazy Eights for people to sketch ideas or maybe put some comments. So that's great. So you can just click on all, you can move it around, you can align it slightly differently. If you want to align it to the right, you can. I'm not going to do that. You can tidy it up by clicking that button, which by the looks of it here has actually messed it up, which is no good. And let's see, what's this? Group selection. So we can group everything here. Okay, so moving on to another template. Let's scroll down the list and let's have a look at something else. Uh, let's just click on this brainstorming one, add template. Let's bring that down. And let's see what this has. So brainstorming activity, we've got some instructions here. Take 10 minutes. So yeah, again, we could use the timer here. Take turns sharing and clustering similar ideas. Brilliant. And it's even giving us a link to a plugin as well, which is really useful. So everything's all set out for us. You can add your participants in here and then you can go ahead and just dive right in and start adding your ideas into your section. So that's a really good one. Let's click up here and let's choose a different one. Let's go down here. Let's choose a flow one. So let's choose user journey map. And well, that's quite a big one. So let's move that over here. Great, so user journey map. So we've got the user goal or problem, what the user is trying to do. We've got the action, which is great. And then we can add in some stickers or emotions, I guess how, how the user is feeling during this journey. And then any opportunity. So again, another really good template. It's pretty much done for you. You've just got to fill in the blanks. So you can just go in, click, add some text, change the colors, add post-its super easy so let's go back to our templates again let's scroll down and see if there's anything else that's good so we've got team stand-ups meetings planning let's have a look at this emotional journey map very nice so the template's been established. So we can plot out the engagement of a user's journey with a product, service, or experience over time. So again, it's giving us all the, all the information that we can just fill in here. So you can just go in and edit some of the fields, which is great. I'm guessing we can go in and move some of these points as well. And it even gives you an example of how to use the template, which is always really useful. So again, another great template. And let's just go back into here again. I'm gonna scroll right to the bottom. And this is probably the one that I've been waiting for, Connect4. 
excellent. So, so it gives us the instructions here. We can select our battle here. How good is that? Someone's gone to the detail of, I'm guessing this is Game of Thrones, Fire and Ice. The Clash of Queens here. Mm, I'm probably not going to use that one. Um, got some other ones here. Battle of the Bots. Some Star Wars reference there. Let's go down. And then some other popular shows in here. That's pretty cool. And then we've got our Battle Arena here. So I'm guessing you can just drag and drop into the space to do Connect 4. Brilliant. So a bit of fun, but it's there. It's a template. You can use it. So I'd encourage you to go in here. You can type the things up here in the search, or you can just go ahead and scroll through the list. You can also click here, browse community, and it's going to take you to the community page here. And you can scroll through and find any of the resources that relate to Fig Jam. And they're all in here. So I'd encourage you to go in here, have a play, see what there is and just experiment in your file and it really helps to kind of speed up your understanding of how fig jam works so have fun with the templates and i'll see you in the next video